Hello, it's me, Black History Maiden. Or is it? Yes, it is me. I love fast-paced shows and books that feature characters in disguise, so of course I've thought of famous escapes in Black American history that relied on deception. We all know that Harriet Tubman escaped slavery and traveled back to the South 19 times to free others. Of course, Tubman had a bounty on her head, so sometimes she had to use disguises. Once, during one of her recon missions, she was carrying a couple of chickens. When she found herself nearly face to face with a former overseer, she released the chickens and gave chase. The overseer and other white folks milling around were so humored by this silly woman chasing chickens because, of course, this scene fit into their stereotypes of black folk. They were so busy laughing, they didn't realize this was the infamous Moses. There's also Henry Box Brown, who disguised as a box. After enduring years of drudgery working in a Richmond tobacco factory, and after losing his beloved wife and children to sale, Henry Brown resolved to find an express route out of slavery. He found a white sympathizer who loved to gamble and who was willing to help with this escape. For profit, of course. Money, 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 money. In 1849, Henry was shipped in a crate from Richmond. The box was sent by rail, ferry, steamboat, and finally a bumpy delivery wagon before Henry Brown arrived in Philadelphia. He was finally free from slavery and from that wooden crate. Must have been one hell of a delivery charge. And there was also Ellen Craft and her husband, William Craft. Ellen was the daughter of a mixed race, enslaved woman, and a white overseer. Although she could pass for white, this was the time of the one drop rule. She and William conspired to escape slavery by hook, crook, or a different look. Ellen cut her hair, and William used the limited earnings he made from being hired out in order to buy gentlemanly clothing for her. She wore her right arm in a sling so that she wouldn't have to write, because she couldn't. The couple took a train and a steamship from Georgia to Philadelphia, with William posing as Ellen's enslaved servant. Once they arrived in Philly, they still weren't free. After the passage of the Fugitive Slave Law, which meant that freedom seekers could be returned to slavery, they fled to Boston. But even in Boston, slave catchers had it out for them. Ultimately, the Crafts settled in Liverpool, England. Ellen Craft definitely wasn't the first black person to pass as white, either temporarily or permanently, in order to escape a racist system. And she wasn't even the only black woman to disguise as a man to have a better chance of escaping slavery. Mary D. Armstead, also known as Clarissa Davis, Mary Milburn, and Anna Maria Weems also escaped in male attire. So all those characters and films and books who put on disguises to steal diamond jewelry or state secrets, they're in good company because brave and ingenious people came before them in real life in their own thrilling capers when what they had to steal was their own bodies. Because that's what you have to do when you're owned by someone else and your very freedom is at stake.